Hey guys, welcome to this uh, Laravel technique video. In this one, we're gonna take a look at how to build this cookie uh, pop-up over here in the left-hand corner. Um, if you're not familiar with cookies, they're basically used to manage uh, user sessions, uh, personal preferences, and to track any kind of user behavior. Now, there's many ways to implement a cookie pop-up or um, cookies. So I'm gonna take a really straightforward approach with this one using Laravel 9 and some packages. So we'll get you started. Um, and we'll also have some functionality where we can try to like click away and close this thing if you stick around for the end of the tutorial. Okay, thanks for jumping in. Let's get started. Okay, let's try something just a little bit different here. I'm gonna style this dialogue contents blade and and you guys can take a look at how I do this. I'm gonna run this to some music. Uh, be sure that you can stop the video at any time and pause and check what I'm doing if it gets too quick for you to follow.
I gotta go. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna get back to work. And you guys get back to the video. Okay. They're still there. All right. I'm going. All right. That's it. So let's just take a look at what we have going on here. So we're all done. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of functionality uh, around this little X uh, button or this close button. And we're going to do so using Alpine JS. So I'm just going to type this in. And if you're not familiar with Alpine JS, don't worry, we'll get into that really intimately with, on the channel, but it's just a lightweight um, JavaScript framework and uh, you guys can check it out and uh, let me know what your thoughts are. So let's just close this up. So the area we're gonna work with is gonna be everything inside of this div. So this is the contents within inside of this uh, div here. So anything that's inside the, the dialog box, we're just gonna try to close that. So first things first, we're gonna just format this a little bit, make it easier for you guys to kind of read this. So I guess everything in Alpine kind of starts with an X data uh, directive. So we're gonna do that. We're going to set this value open and we're going to set it to we we'll set it to true and we're going to use another one and this one's going to be x show so this will allow us to hide and show dom elements so if you're familiar with javascript this will kind of make sense it's a pretty powerful directive and um, you're probably going to use it a lot when you use uh, alpine but for now we're kind of just going to set that to value of being open okay and the next thing that's going to be involved is this button down here so I'm gonna clean this up a little bit here so you guys can get a better better look at this and for the button we're also gonna set the X show type and we're gonna show that directive to open as well and then we're going to go um, use like Alpine's directive X on and X on basically like it allows us to run code kind of against um, a dispatch DOM event so we could do something like open and we're going to set that equal to false. If you're familiar with Alpine, uh, this is one way of doing it. You could do the shortcut, which is pretty much just add the at directive and that does the same thing. So this is like basically it. I mean, you can add more things. You can add some transitions, uh, some animations and something to make it more smooth or uh, a little bit more user friendly, but um, this will basically work. So if we come over here and we kind of just click on our close button, it'll disappear. And if you refresh, it'll come back. So close, refresh, and there it is. Now, it's not actually doing what we intended to do for cookies, because this would be pretty annoying. But I mean, at the end of the day, um, we're going to actually show you why and how this works. So let's just open up our inspector here. And if we go to applications, I'm already here actually, and you go to cookies, you can see that um, there's no token set. There's, there's The cookie has not been honored. So if we click on agree to use of cookies, we'll see that if we do a quick refresh, that the cookie, Kevin Link's cookie, the name of the cookie is set up here and it's given the expiration date or the time that we set. So this cookie will expire like, you know, two years from now ish. So where's that coming from? Well, if we go back to our cookie consent, the index file, you'll see that this is where the name comes from. We named it this and we set the lifetime to whatever. And it's just, you know, two years from now. So that's how that works. And if you go back to, you know, the browser and we were to refresh now, and even if we do, let's say like a hard reset, right? It's still here. It's still here because the cookies being honored here in the session is tracking that. And the user has agreed to the, uh, cookie dialog and it's showed up here. If you were to remove it and if you were like to just remove this, remove the cookie value and refresh, it'll pop back up again. If I were to, you know, accept this once again, then go to, let's say another part of the application and we refresh, it's no longer here because we've accepted this. Now, if we were to remove it and we do a refresh, it's still here. So like I can close this refresh still here go back still here okay so that's it i won't go into too much detail around that uh, just because it's meant to be a pretty straightforward lesson let me know your thoughts and how you guys felt on this one and that's it for this one guys don't forget to like the video if you found this useful leave your comments and thoughts below take care and i will see you next time